Hello everybody, on today's video we'll be looking at some G.I. Joe key rings I picked up. And I picked these up from Toys R Us a couple of years ago and they were on offer, so let's take a look inside. Now here they are in the packs, and I've already opened them, but I'm not sure which is in each one, so we'll go through and look at them. And that's the, the front of the pack, as you can see. On the back has got the list of them all. And let's have a look and see which ones we got. So that's the packaging again, and it shows all of them on there. And um, I've always been a big GI Joe fan, but as I live in the UK, I refer to it as Action Force, and it didn't change over into GI Joe in the UK to about the late 80s. But we had, first of all, we had the Action Force British characters, and then it went to the GI Joe characters. And I've got all the the UK comics, so. I've been a big fan since it since it came out and I don't buy much G.I. Joe stuff now I only really buy vintage things really but I picked these up so I thought they looked quite cool so in the first one I've opened the cut the bag so in the first one we have the Baroness that's the Baroness and they're quite a couple of inches tall but they've got the um the key ring bit there and sort of made of hard rubber as I'm sure the Baroness would like in a kinky outfit but yeah so that's the, the Baroness next up we have Cobra Commander Baroness's leader or kind of leader she also reports into Destre but that's Cobra Commander in his helmet version not his hood version he's quite cool a nice visor imagine these would get very dirty if you stuck them on your on your rucksack after a while all right here's the next one Let's see if we've got one of the good guys and we have bazooka now this is one of the chase variants it isn't on the box so this is one of two of the harder ones to find. I always like Bazooka. I remember him getting killed off in the cartoon a few years ago, which was quite traumatic to me as a 40 old man. So there we go, it's Bazooka with his nice moustache. I like Bazooka. One of the good guys. Next up. See if we can make it two for two and the good guys we have duke the kind of leader of gi joe apart from hawk and um there's duke he's actually got some nice detail on him a little blonde hair there there's duke put him next to baroness because he has a bit of a bit of a thing with her sometimes next up We've got two for two at the moment. Have we got a good guy or a bad guy? We have. Oh, it's Scarlet. Scarlet and all her gingery glory with her little crossbow. And she goes out with snake eyes in the clock. And I, Scarlet was Quarrel in the UK version, first of all. And then they, they repainted Scarlet to look like Quarrel. She's quite a hard figure to get hold of. And yeah, part of Z Force, which I'm a massive fan of. Next up, let's see if we've got a good guy or a bad guy. We have that to be Snake Eyes. I don't know if you can see him on a black background, but there's Snake Eyes with his old ammo pouch. That'd be the old version, and he's the straight arm version, not the swivel arm version, as it's made out of rubber. But yeah, with his Uzi, that's Snake Eyes. We'll put him next to Scarlet because that's who he goes out with in the, in the comic. Next up, good guy or bad guy. We have a Crimson Guard. I always like the Crimson Guard. I like their costumes, they look very cool. I think it's very cool. So I don't know what I would actually do with these. Might as well put them on a shelf somewhere or something. But yeah, there's a Crimson Guard, or Fred maybe, 
it is called. Fred 5 or 7. Next up, who have we got now? We have the Cobra Officer. You can tell he's the Cobra Officer because of the, the V on his helmet and his braces, which the Cobra Trooper, Cobra Trooper does not have. And the Cobra Trooper doesn't come in this these clips. But yeah, he is one of the chase figures. That's the second chase figure. But also hard to get one. That's a Cobra Officer. Very cool. Three left. So the third one is Destro or Red Jackal, as he was known in Action Force until he changed over. Uh, Red Jackal's got his skull and crossbones on. Uh, if you read the comic, they're the same character, so it's the same person really. So that's Red Jackal. Uh, Destro, not Red Jackal, I think of Action Force. See, I'm from the UK, so it's all bloody Action Force names, but this is Destro with his little pointy ears. Just been reading the comic recently and it was good, and then all of a sudden it's gone crap. Right, the penultimate figure of G.I. Joe backpack clips. We have, it is Roadblock, G.I. Joe's chef. There he is, with all his big gun and his. Um, stand that his gun goes on on his back which you get with the figure so that's roadblock so there's one more to go so now we've got the last figure and let's see who the last figure is it is storm shadow tommy somebody you can never remember his surname second name it's storm that uh, snake eyes is enemy then friend yeah, he's got his katanas, it's very cool, it's very white. But yeah, that's Storm Shadow, so we've got two ninjas. So, there we are. So there we go, that's the full set of the G.I. Joe clip-on figurines. So we've got Duke, Cobra Commander, Scarlet, Destro, Baroness, Roadblock, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, Crimson Guard, and the two variant chase figures. Well, not variant they're the chase figures it's bazooka and cobra officer and i'm going to be getting rid of these and selling them on because i don't really have the room in my spare room because i'm making a display at the moment so hopefully they will go on to another collector of gi joe but they're very cool and they're all so just brand new out the packs and that's it and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one for some more toy collection stuff bye Thank you.